Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the Excel 2010 course and this is week number five and this is specifically uh, part two of part of uh, three parts for week number five. And today's lesson in part two will be how to do a VLOOKUP or vertical lookup. So what I've done here is I've taken the data that we imported in part one, uh, all the sales information data for quarter one through quarter four, and then I've added a total sales column and I've I've totaled everyone's sales up for the year. Now what I want to do is I want to create a bonus amount so that we can refer to a table and figure out based on the employee's sales how big of a bonus they get. So with that said, I've created a bonus over here, a bonus table over here in columns O and P. And I've got yearly sales here and a bonus here. So if they're between zero and 120,000, they get zero dollar bonus. If they hit one hundred and twenty thousand, they get a three three thousand dollar bonus. One hundred and forty thousand dollars in sales, they get a forty five hundred dollar bonus, and so forth. Um, so how to do that is in this column. I want to check a few things. I want to see based on their sales in column G, right here, what does that employee get in an annual bonus? So I'm going to go ahead and type equals and do V lookup. So I start typing it out and auto populate. So I just hit tab once I get to the right formula. And it's asking me here, what's the lookup value? Well, I want to look up this value here, the total sales. Then I do comma. And now, what's my table array? That's this data over here that I want to use. So based on that, I want to highlight and select the whole table here. And you can see it auto, it filled it in 03 to P8. And by the way, you do not include the title in there and then I do comma and then it's asked me what the column index number is so what I want to do there is I want to say what column from this table do I want to pull the data from so I want to pull it from column P here so I'm going to do column 2 and we're not doing a range lookup so I'm just going to close parentheses hit return and there you have it 10, they've 202,000 in sales they get a $10,000 bonus, so that makes perfect sense. So now what we want to do is we want to copy this down, but one of the things if I do that, I'll show you what will happen. As you can see, we start to have problems, and the reason why is when you don't set any constant values here, um, and you copy it down, you notice here this is G2 and O3 and P8 and so forth. So now it's G3 and O4, G4 and O5, so we don't want the table to change, we, but we do want this value to change because we want to look up the new salesperson's information. So I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to delete these, and I'm going to show, show you how to fix that. So what we do is we highlight the table with our mouse by single clicking, dragging, and then unchecking and uh, unselecting the mouse button. Then we just go up and we hit the F4 function key and you see what will happen, I'll put a dollar sign uh, to hold those as constant um, values. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, enter and now what I do when I copy it down, you can see now it looks like it works fine. And you can see it holds that, it changes the salesperson's information, G7, G8, G9 and so forth. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it down. I'm going to go ahead and copy it all the way down. And now we can um, now we can fill that in. And now you've got everyone's bonus amount. And the other thing is is maybe this quarter four is not over, and so if they hit certain targets, then it might um, help people see what they can make in a bonus and help them get to the next level or or whatnot. So that's what I wanted to share with you in this this um, part two, and then I'll be back with part three, where we'll um, show you a quick overview of working with macros within Excel. Thanks for joining. Take care.